Topography. Uh, the physical form or shape of a behavior. The way a behavior looks. Um, hmm. There's lots of examples of this. Um, take, for example, the beautiful flames that I have just drawn for you. <laughs> Right? <laughs> They're right there. Those ones are nice flames, but these ones don't look so nice. These ones right here. Oh, <laughs> God, those are ugly. All right. Um, so, topography of response, topography of behavior, how the behavior looks, so I can draw those things in particular ways. Um, how someone walks. They could have a you know, get along and they're hitched, you know, or hitched and they get along. You know, that sort of thing. That's a topography of response. The way in which I form my words could be a topography of response. Um, you see the fact that I'm playing with, I'm twiddling my fingers. I'm twiddling my ring. I'm twiddling. Um, so how does that look? The way my finger is moving. That's a topography of response, right? The fact that my finger is moving is a response. How it's moving is the topography, how it looks. Sometimes it's really, really important, like when you're doing swimming or high jumping or things like that. All of the stuff where you need to make sure you do it in a particular way, otherwise you're doing it wrong. Sometimes topography doesn't matter at all. Um, I don't know what, like how you, I suppose, how you talk sometimes doesn't matter at all, but sometimes it does. So you, you get the idea, right? It's just how a behavior looks. Topography, topographical, the way something looks. That's it. That's all I got.